Yes. Yes. All right, here we go. We are underway for match number two. Oh, right away. Vito. Big throw. That's four for Vito. Oh, my gosh. Shot out of a cannon, Vito Arrujo. I'm surprised that wasn't five. <laughs> There's one. I got to catch my breath here. I mean, let's look at that again. Gets around behind him right away. He goes big. Man, looks like five to me. Goodness gracious. Man, Man, he got that head outside, covered. Big lift, belly to back. He blew the nose tape off of Nation. They're gonna have to clean that up. And wow. we're only how many seconds into this match? Like, I mean, look, shot, boom. He just gets behind that elbow and then skies him. So if the plan was to not get forced in this match, the, the plan is already ended, you know. Four seconds into the match. Moving forward, he's just got to count on that. If he's yeah. supposed to match three, he's got to come up with a plan that includes giving up four points. He's going to fool me. I just have to score like 12 points. I mean, what what an incredible start. And that's that's what makes Vito so, so dangerous. It's like, yeah, everyone talks about the speed. He's got this crazy speed. But he's got incredible power. To be able to lift there and, and sky him for five, that fast, that seamlessly. He's also he's also got awareness and confidence in just about every wrestling position there is. Yeah. He doesn't just wrestle from a couple different positions. He can attack, he can counter. That was a counter actually from Vito. It was the initial, you know, kind of motion from Nation. And next thing you know, he gets behind that elbow and it, it's over. Nashawn's airborne. That <laughs> I'm gonna be watching that highlight uh, several times, I think, after this. So I think awesome so too. So Nishan getting his nose tended to again. Man, it didn't take long to, for that tape to tear off. Yeah, real good close look at the medical nice attention. Look. Some quality Vaseline there. Oh, they don't go cheap for this. Oh, no, it's Final X. You don't go great value petroleum jelly a night like this. We're back underway. 2.43 to go. It's already 4-1, Vito. Vito on a knee, looks to a drag to a single, not there. Re-attack, Nishan in deep on a single leg. He's working for a finish. Close to it, does he have a trap arm? He, he does. looks like it. Trap arm two and two. And just like that, 5-4 Nishan Garrett, they give him another, another turn. I, didn't, I don't know that he had time, uh, you know, the ability to recover down, but they're saying that it was I don't know that he got to a defensible position. That's the term. And you see Vito doing everything he can to get his arm out. But they're saying a takedown in two turns in that sequence. No brick, though. I'm not sure. Either. And, and Pirelli, Coach Pirelli. has seven and should be six. No, he got a step out. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, you're right. So here comes the brick. And I think this is probably a wise brick from Coach Gray. So here's the initial takedown. No takedown yet. That's two, okay? First turn, that's two more. Now, Vito's gotta get to a defensible position. And I think it maybe say he did. I, it's really between that second and third term, turn is what they're looking at. We can look at it again because, one, they're cleaning up blood, they're looking at the review, and it's gonna be close. In a defensible position, basically, the layman term, do you get back flat, right? Yeah. Do you come all the way through? Do you get to a, that way you can't just like kind of keep tilting them from a, when I saw it live, it, it looked like it looked like he tilted him once and and was still in the same tilt position. Did it again, but it is a lot closer on the review than I expected it to be. Yeah, 100. percent And um, you can see why the I can see why the whistle went with the extra turn there. Now they'll sort it all out. You see our jury of appeal as we take another look. So there's the turn, the takedown. Excuse me. First turn. And does he get? Defensive. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't either. I think I think probably not. Regardless, Nation's gonna have the lead. It's whether it's five four or yeah. seven four. Maybe the plan was to get the four out of the way early. Yeah. Let's just get it, you know, get it up the four and then let's get the work. It's a classic rope a dope type yeah. of scenario. And so. at this rate. Oh, lost challenge, so they add one. So now really? it's 8-4. Really? 
Okay, holy buckets. And once again, at the end of every sequence, Nishan's nose is gonna need some tending to. Yeah. This has the makings of being a pretty long match. <laughs> yeah, we are 56 seconds in. Yeah, <laughs> we got a good shot. We can see uh, Vito's dad, Vogar, in the crowd. Olympic bronze medalist. And we are back underway. It's 8-4 now, because if you, if you throw a brick and you lose the challenge, it's an extra point for your opponent. So just like that, it's 8-4. No four yet for Nishan Garrett, so if Vito were somehow to get to eight, and Nishan hadn't scored, he would be in the lead. 12 points on the board already. These guys tend to have high-scoring matches, and Vito looks for a re-attack. Oh, now drags. And we, we talked about that in the pre-show, is this nice exchange here between Vito and Nashon. Nashon needs to give himself an opportunity on top. He's turned Vito consistently. Gets on top there in the middle of the mat and able to transition that trap arm. He got six, really seven points out of the whole sequence. He pulls that arm off, fires off an attack, knee sprawl from Vito. Nashon gets to the collar tie. Vito posts, got to the ankle. Nashon got it back. Head tap from Nashon. Minute to go in the first. Vito likes to do that. I call it the smell my hand technique. I don't think that's what it's actually called, but he puts the back of his hand right up against Nashon's face. And there's a shot from Vito. Nashon actually talked about that on the Bader show. He said, so yeah, it's just a mind game. Vito plays, he tries to get you out of your element, and then boom, attacks. Whoop, jumped the whistle there to Vito. 34 seconds to go. Club from Nashon, pulling on the head. Sweep single, and it, Vito's gonna need a little more activity, a little more, some more flurries to open up Nashon. I don't think you're gonna be able to just fire. Nashon controlling that wrist too, and that's gonna be tough for Vito to get some of his fast offensive attacks going from that wrist. Round one, Matt, period one comes to a conclusion, 8-4 in favor of Nashon. Tell you what, a few seconds into that period, it looked like Vito was headed to the world team, no problem with a big four. Since then, it's been all Nashon Garrett. Started with the step out, takedown, two trapped arm guts, and here we are, it's 8-4. Mike Gray trying to fire up Vito or give him some technical pointers. They come back out to center. Vito's too sweaty, they gotta wipe him down again. Really, really taking a look at that towel down. They wanna make sure they didn't just pretend. Yeah, do the real deal. Underway second period, shot right away from Nashon, re-attack attempt there from Vito. Man, great little series of attacks from Vito. Another good shot from Vito. He's getting to moving with that drag really well. Got to think if he keeps that, he's going to find an opening on one of these reattacks. Another fake. Vito favoring that single leg right side. Forty yeah. seconds in, more of a chess match in this the early part of the second period. A little misdirection there. Vito got that in the NCAA finals against Roman Bravo Young, not able to get to the ankle this time. On oh, Nashon. Another shot looking reattacks. Nashon fires, refires, does Vito nothing in there? And caution on one. You're saying that he led with the head. Oh. Good white paddle there, I think. Oh, did he get him? I guess I didn't notice it in the time. Vito holding his eye. Not in his hand, that would be bad. 
Huh? Not in his hand, though. Yeah, no, that would be, yeah, that'd be extra, extra terrible. Probably a little injury time there. 150 to go now, 8-4 lead. Vito now wrestling from space. Another sweep attempt from Vito. It's gotta be one of the longer stretches these two have gone without a point going on the board, but Nishan with this lead knows he can play it a little more cautiously. That's not gonna stop Vito from firing and firing. And they... Yeah, the judge and chair are asking for a passivity call, and they had those paddles up for a long time. Now, finally, they're gonna give that activity call. And Ooh. almost gets to the leg, does Vito, but well defended by Nishan Garrett once more. Ooh, now he's in on a deep I head caught. outside. Looking to finish here, can he do it again this time? Nishan able to go down, belly down, but trying to work for a lace. No, goes to a gun, what's the call? Four, Four can Oh my goodness, it's 10-8. Unbelievable. He goes takedown, pretends he's gonna go lace, fakes him out, and then comes to a gut wrench, feet to back, and Nishan coming, and they're gonna challenge. So it's interesting. Are they gonna say this was four, or did he lift him up off the mat, feet to back? Looking at it again, I, I kind of think they may call this two. Either way, Vito's gonna have the lead on either on criteria 8-8 eight, eight, or it'll be now 11-8 if there's a failed challenge. But let's see if he gets him all the way off the mat. Yeah, I Man. think Nashon's elbow was still down. I think that's gonna be four blue. And what's curious is Nashon belly down completely and was defending. And then he kind of butted back, got his butt high in that tripod and it went perfectly for Vito, able to form him again. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. You know, we, we saw the sequence in the uh, women's final with Audrey Jimenez where yeah. you're like, wait, wait, how do they call that a takedown? Well, they do, they call it from parterre. If you if you return back up to quad pod, that's technically like not parterre, it's on your feet. So yes. I think you may be right. Four blue confirmed, so one more. It's gonna be 11-8. Nishan's gonna have to get to 12 points because of the criteria. Now with two fours, for Vito, that's a huge advantage, not just the points you get, but also from a criteria perspective. And Sean, who was looking like he was in the driver's seat, gives up a big flurry of points, now down three, but really needs to get to that 12th point to have a shot here. And now upper body, and Sean is dangerous. As you see, he came up with that uh, over under, but Vito wisely cleared out and got blood. Yeah, nose thing fell off. Nashon, 41 seconds to go. I mentioned Nashon looked like he was in the driver's seat. Now it looks like Vito, whoever wins this match is gonna have 100% earned it. It's not just lead changes, but massive moves, huge swings, and whoever wins this thing is, is uh, every bit deserving, maybe one of the mo more deserving uh, wrestlers we've seen tonight. Crazy match. Yeah, that six point sequence, so big for, for Vito there going from takedown, just just really savvy. Acting like you're dropping down to the leg and then coming around the gut, a huge lift. After Vito's impressive NCAA performance and US Open performance, there's been a lot of talk. If this guy makes the team, oh, yeah. people are confident that he can bring a medal back. And now with his variety of attacks, the ways he can score, I'd, I'd feel pretty good too. But Nashon's not out of it yet, 41 seconds left. And we're back underway, 40 seconds to go. Nashon's gotta get to 12 points. Last time he got on top, he got two turns. Club and shot attempt there from Nashon Garrett. Now it's Vito who can defend. Are you kidding me? Back to the blood. All right. Look at Vito. Vito's getting busy. He's like, let's go. I love it. I don't know what Zach Ray is saying. He's not a licensed cleaning professional. <laughs> it's not union sanctioned. We're back 20 seconds to go. Deshaun's gotta find an angle, gotta get to a leg. Hard snap to Sean Garrett, trying to create an opening. 
Vito's enduring the storm for now. Head pinches too. He needs some more. Two and two the call, I don't know. Eight seconds left and Just there's no blue. brick. 13, 10, almost takes him through and that's gonna do it. When the dust settles, Vito Arugia, the winner. 13, 10 final, Vito on the world team. One of the most incredible series that we've seen the final acts in a long time. Look at the crowd. Everybody is on their feet, and it's not just for Vito. Absolutely. They're on their feet for both guys, two warriors. Standing O from the Prudential Center. Vito with the hand raise. Nation, nothing but respect. Man, what a fire match that was. How good are those two? Let's take a look at some of the key sequences, of which there were many. Yeah.